Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go through some uh, pickups that we've got. Bit of a random mix. Um, there's not really it's sort of enough within one sort of theme to um, you know really make a video out of out of it. So um, I've just sort of got a load of stuff, random stuff together. Thought we'd have a little chat about it, and um, you know just kind of tell you what these things uh, kind of are. So. Uh, First thing we've got coming up here is uh, this is a slinky from uh, Toy Story. Uh, this is a, this is actually one of the original slinkies. I think this is actually the original slinky uh, from I, I reckon it probably be the nineties. Um, this this doesn't look much, but these these actually sell for around uh, between twenty and thirty pound. These these actually light up and uh, he moves along and stuff. Uh, so it's a lot better than the, the sort of more modern slinkies that have got the um, the metal. Well, it's actually a metal slinky in between it, you know, and they, they always get tangled and bent up. Uh, and these ones tend to stay in better condition for a lot longer, um, and they're electronic as well. So just thought I'd show that off. Uh, original slinky from Toy Story. Uh, next thing we've got coming up uh, is just some games. Um, so we've got some more games coming to the store. Uh, we've already added a whole bunch this week, and um, but we'll, we'll be adding a few more. So just thought I'd talk about some of these. Uh, this one is Daxter on the PSP, uh, obviously famous from Jack and Daxter. Um, this is him just on his own. Uh, we've got Scalar. I've not seen this one before, but this one seems to be a little bit like a sort of Spyro the Dragon type uh, type game. Let's see if I can focus that a bit better. Yeah, so not seen that one before. Uh, next up, Ready to Rumble Boxing 2. I played the hell out of this back in the day. And these are uh, really, really fun sort of boxing games, sort of, uh, you know, not too serious, but really fun nonetheless. Uh, next up, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Mutant Melee. Uh, this is an old sort of economy game. Uh, I don't actually remember playing this one, to be honest with you, but, uh, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's in really good condition, and, uh, you know, it's complete with the manual and stuff. So quite a nice one. People out there uh, that collect turtle stuff will like that one. Uh, next one, we've got Micro Machines. Again, I played the absolute hell out of this, you know, especially this particular version and the one on the Super Nintendo as well. Um, just, you know, you don't really need to see much, say much more about that. But again, you know, complete uh, with the manual, really good condition. Um, Micro Machines. Uh, next up, we have uh, Hurdy Gurdy. This was quite a rare game uh, a few years back, but then kind of, <laughs> the, you know, the top kind of got blown off it and everybody started listing it. And uh, these aren't as rare as, as what people found out uh, or what people thought. And um, I think these go for about seven or eight pounds now, so they're, they're not that expensive, but they're pretty pretty nice games. And, um, you know, people pick the, people buy these just because of that, that kind of meme history behind it. Uh, but that one's Hurdy Curdy. And we've got, uh, we actually managed to find two copies of that. Uh, the next thing we've got is just a couple of these uh, action replay um, they're like cheat systems, I guess, aren't they? Um, I just quite like picking these up because they're they're quite funny to see the games underneath. Tekken 4, Stuntman, that was a great game. Project Zero, don't remember that one. But Turok, The Thing, that was a great game as well. But yeah, just some, just some cool stuff on there. Um, you know, instruction manual for it. I don't know if, even if these have much value, to be honest with you, but I just think they're quite um, quite cool. You don't see this sort of stuff at all anymore. All right, next thing we've got coming up, uh, we've got a couple of James Bond uh, Corgi figures. Uh, these have been up on the website for a little while, but I just thought I'd show them off uh, in video because these are actually pretty cool. Um, this one here is the Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger. Um, and these little metal things down here are kind of like triggers. So if you press, I think it's this one, uh, the ejector seat opens and it you know, makes the bad guy fly out. Uh, this one here makes machine guns pop out from the front and... Um, that one's obviously got the you know the, the shield that um, comes up in the film as well. So that's very cool. It's uh, you know an interactive model, um, which is really nice. Uh, next one we've got is this. Uh, this is Gyrocopter or Little Nelly from uh, You Only Live Twice. As you can see, it's a really nice model actually. And this one fires missiles as well. It has these two missiles. Uh, you can't actually see them in in the box. I'm not going to get them out, but they're they're really tiny missiles and they. Um, you can fire them, and I tell you what, I was lucky that I put my hand in front of it because I think if I'd have fired it and it had just gone, so I would never have found that missile again. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty powerful, um, pretty powerful springs in there. Uh, next thing we've got coming up 
uh, is a couple of uh, jigsaw puzzles. This one is uh, Super Mario. It's a 500 piece, so just a really nice um, sort of display. This one would look really nice framed, I think, actually. Um, not, not particularly valuable, but just a, just a nice puzzle nonetheless. Uh, this one here, uh, this is Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is obviously Gandalf, and um, this one's actually was made in, I think this is 1979, I think the date on this one is. Uh, so like a really, really vintage, here it is, uh, 1979, really vintage uh, puzzle. This is complete. Um, I thought, you know, it won't take me that long to do. It's only a 400 piece. Uh, but then actually when you start to get this out and you see that all the colours are kind of, you know, the same. Um, I mean, this, this actually ended up taking me like, I was, it was a good four hours to do this puzzle. Um, but <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but I mean, even at the end, um, I mean, I took a picture of it because obviously, you know, we want to list it to show that it's complete because it's a really rare piece. Um, but even in the photo, you'll see that there's a piece that doesn't go in that spot. Um, but I don't know which one it should have gone into, but it is complete, but I just, I put the pieces in the wrong place. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a really, really difficult puzzle, but really collectible. Um, I think there's another version with another character on it, but you know, 1979 Lord of the Rings puzzle. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, next up, uh, we have this, uh, Texter, uh, micro pets. Uh, Texter was quite a big toy back in the nineties. Um, there was, you might particularly remember the robotic dog. You'd tap it on the head and you could pet it and it'd backflip and, you know, blink and run around and stuff. Um, Texter micro pets. I'm, I'm assuming this is how they're carrying on their brand at the moment. This is just basically got a little kitten in it. Uh, and if you turn it over, uh, he basically just chases a ball kind of around your ramp, around this ramp. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was interesting because I've not seen Texter for probably 20 years. Um, and there it is. I didn't even know it was around anymore. Uh, next up. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone had one of these as a kid in the 90s. Uh, it was a VTech laptop. I mean, not particularly, uh, not, not necessarily a, you know, a pink one. Um, but let's have a look. I'm sure everybody remembers these things. <laughs> had like a multitude of games on it. My one didn't have a mouse though. Um, but the fact this has got a ball in the mouse um, suggests this has got a little bit of age to it because otherwise I guess it would be infrared. I don't think there's a, doesn't look, there's a date on this. But um, yeah, just a really cool throwback. I thought everybody had one of these. I had one, my sister had one, uh, a lot of my friends had one. And um, yeah, just a really nice throwback uh, to the 90s. Won't dwell in it too much. Uh, next up, we have this uh, Super Mario d uh, play and display set. Obviously, this is the, uh, is it the Mushroom Kingdom Castle. Um, and it's got all the pieces in there as well. I just need to kind of put it all back in its, in, in its place. Um, but yeah, really cool, really cool toy. Um, I'm not going to sort of dwell on this too much because that's basically what it is. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was cool to show off. And the last thing we've got... Um, is something completely different. This isn't going to go onto the website. This is probably just going to go onto eBay. Um, to be honest, I probably put this on Facebook Marketplace because it's quite a big item. But it's very cool, very retro, um, and just just an amazing thing. So with uh, with the World Cup coming up, uh, we've got a bunch of people who are looking forward to that, especially in this country. And uh, as you can see, this is a giant football. Um, but if you push this open. It actually opens up into a little mini fridge, uh, which which I think is so, so cool. Um, it's got these little test tubes in them. I'm assuming that you would put, you know, vodka and Coke in there or something. And then you'd put all of these test tubes in the um, in the fridge. And, you know, you could just pour them out. Uh, alternatively, you can just stick beer in there. Um, I would imagine that most football fans are more beer drinkers than use these kind of test tube things. But uh, nonetheless, they come with it and... Um, I just think this is a really nice item. There's a little bit of yellow in uh, to the, uh, the actual ball itself. I'm going to try and get some of this removed. Uh, and we'll get this cleaned up as well, make it look really nice and shiny. Uh, but this is an original uh, original Husky. Um, so yeah, just a really nice kind of retro vintage. Um, I, I just wish I could show you it a little bit better under this camera. But let's see if I can... Ooh. So yeah, there you go, Husky. Husky football fridge. Yeah, really cool item. Don't want to smash that glass in there. Let's just check it's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a really cool vintage item. Um, 
if you are interested in this, then please contact me. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, I think this is just you know, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to ship out because um, it is it's pretty heavy as well, you know. Uh, so probably will be a Facebook Marketplace or um, or something like that, I think. But uh, yeah, really cool. Hopefully you enjoyed viewing this random eclectic mix of uh, stuff. Uh, so yeah, leave us a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here, and um, let us know what your favourite item was out of this out of this random bundle. Because uh, there's some pretty random stuff here, and you know this this football fridge We've got the 007, um you know corgi models. You've got the original Slinky. Uh, the, the puzzles as well, or even that giant uh, Super Mario Mushroom Kingdom playset. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. We're over 10 minutes now, so there's probably nobody watching anyway. Uh, but, but thanks anyway. <laughs>